One of the improvements that the SRS A2 brought with it is the ability to easily swap handguards. With many SRS owners wanting to swap from the standard length to the covert length handguard, we wanted to show you how that process is done. The full length handguard is meant to be used with 22 inch barrels or longer. The shorter covert length barrels cannot be used safely with the longer handguard and require switching out with the shorter handguard. After clearing the rifle and making sure it's safe, remove the conversion kit in the traditional fashion. Loosen the barrel retention screws, unlock the barrel, and slide it out the front of the chassis. Remove the magazine, butt pad, and bolt and set them all aside. Next, we will remove the stock panels by removing the 13 screws from the right side of the chassis. I like to keep them in order because it's easy to get them mixed up and nobody wants to be moving screws around when they could be shooting stuff. Be careful as you remove the stock panel screws to not lose the nuts out the opposite side. They typically stay in the skins, but they can be pushed out when you unscrew them. With the skins carefully removed from the receiver, you should be able to see all eight screws that hold the handguard to the front of the receiver. The eight screws that hold the handguard to the receiver should be two and a half millimeter Allen keys. Some of the older rifles may have used T20 Torx screws. Regardless of which screws your rifle has, the instructions remain the same. You can loosen the screws and remove them, then the handguard should slide right off the front of the receiver. Make sure you clean any debris from the receiver before reassembly. You can then install the handguard of your choice by sliding it over the receiver until it lines up with the screw holes. Then, snug all the handguard screws tight and torque them down to 8 inch pounds. You can then reinstall the stock panels the same way they came off. This is where it comes in handy to have kept the screws in order and leaving the nuts in place in the stock panel. Gently snug them all down and torque them to 8 inch pounds. Be sure to apply a drop of blue Loctite to the threads of the two sling cup screws before installing them. Do not over torque the screws as it will cause misalignment and could potentially damage the stock panels. You can now reinstall the conversion kit of your choice based on the handguard compatibility. The modularity and the multi-caliber nature of the SRS makes it extremely adaptable for any situation. We hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more information about our products. My name is Elio. Thank you guys so much for watching.